I actually can't believe what I'm witnessing here. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. The German steam train is actually going to beat Blue Peter. No way! Welcome back to the Train Simulator World Cup race, my friends. Uh, so far, uh, Great Britain is doing very well with 10 points, uh, but Germany and the United States are both tied on four points. But now we're on round two, and this time we have got steam and diesels. So let's meet the engines we are racing today. We'll start with the uh, American one. Uh, for representing diesel in the United States of America, we have this, which is a uh, ES44AC uh, uh, in a BNSF livery. And we've got, once again, the uh, S1. I think it's the PRRS1. I think that's what it's called. Uh, now, last time I raced this, uh, it lost quite badly because this was a very slow starting locomotive. But now that we've got a much more longer racetrack, when this thing gets up to speed, it might have a good chance. So that's Team America, the PRRS1 and the ES44AC in the BNSF livery. Looks very nice. Looks very good. Now, representing the diesel for Germany, we have this weird-looking thing, uh, which kind of looks a little bit like Diesel 10, but it's not the same class. But I think this is a DB Class V200, I think. And we have another German steam trainer. It's what's called a DB18, which I have to be honest, I actually quite like the German design steam trains because I think the black and red do go quite nice for, for, for the German steam trains. And representing diesel power for the United Kingdom, we have Armstrong Powerhouse Class 37. And I love these things, especially made by Armstrong Powerhouse. Are the, these things are like the Bossman Games version, but with diesels, because Armstrong Powers do some incredibly well-detailed stuff with some amazing sound effects. So uh, I'm quite excited to be racing the, uh, the Class 37 from Armstrong Powerhouse. These are great DLCs. And for the United Kingdom steam power trains, we are using a Class A2 uh, Blue Peter. Now, I have not actually had Blue Peter in a race for a, quite a long time. So I think today will be the perfect opportunity to see what Blue Peter can do in today's race. But let's have a quick look at the scores. Great Britain so far is on 10 points. Germany, unfortunately, is only on 4 points. And the same result for the United States. But that might change for today. The ch this is where the scores might get a bit more mixed up or more complicated. I'm not sure because I, I don't know what the results are. That's, that is why we're doing these. So let's go to the programming. Uh, same as always, engine number one on platform one. I think that's how it works. Uh, platform one, engine one, and uh, uh, oh no, um, it's it doesn't want to doesn't want to work. How come you don't want to work? Uh, who's engine number one? Blue Peter doesn't want to be programmed. Uh, I think we might have a problem. Uh, I might have to give it a, a coach or some kind. So if I um, give it like one coach, now let me just see. If that works. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, it's working now. For some reason, Blue Peter doesn't want to work without a coach. So let me just have a look again to see if it's working. Nope, you see, it doesn't want to work. So if I give Blue Peter her coach back, um, we'll give her... Uh, which coach should we give her? I think we should give her um, like, like a small little coach. Uh, let's have a quick look and see if that's working. Yeah, okay. So Blue Peter, for some reason, needs a coach. I don't know why... That's just the way it is. So, Blue Peter's got a coach. This might slow her down. We don't know. But for the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 37, you are, you are engine number two. Uh, and you're going to be on platform two. Now, let's see. Are you going to work? Yep. Uh, oh, and I almost forgot to do uh, the, uh, the percent power for Blue Peter. So, let's go back to engine number one. And we want you on 100% power. Nearly forgot there. Nearly forgot. But engine number one is uh, Blue Peter. Engine number two is the class 37. Uh, both on 100% power. So engine number three will be on platform three. Uh, to give you 100% power as well. And engine number four on platform four will give you 100% uh, uh, power as well. Same with engine five on platform five give you 100% uh, power and last and certainly not least uh, engine number six on platform six you 100% power as well there we go I think I've done a good job uh, first things first is you want to line them up and I don't know why <laughs> what, what is the what's the s1 do I don't know why she's turned around um, let me just quick, have a quick look to see if she's going to go in the be going in the right direction yes 
So this is it, my friends. The uh, the next uh, the next showdown, uh, round two. Uh, who is gonna win? Uh, leave your answer in the comment section down below as well, because um, I do like I do, I do like like seeing your guys' comments and reading them. But uh, team uh, Great Britain, team Germany, or team United States? Which one do you guys want to win? Um, I'm I'm still not convinced that this coach will help Blue Peter, but we'll wait and see. But anyway, uh, I am ready to go. So we're gonna click play. Uh, you want to save your- are you sure you want to save this? Yes, I do! Uh, oh, pfft. Game crashed. Ugh! Every time! Every time I click play, the game crashes. That's it's not gone very well so far, has it? Well, that concludes our video. Goodbye, everyone! Thanks so much for watching. The game has crashed, we can't race anymore. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna reboot Trade Simulator and, and get, get this race started. Oh, and also, there is something I need to do before we actually start racing, uh, because in the last video, uh, I actually forgot to, uh, do the valley. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly sort out the, uh, the track, uh, because I have no idea, um, what the, what the track looks like, because, like, you know, it's deep in a valley. And actually, that actually looks quite cool, but also, it does look quite weird as well. Actually, I think I've done this wrong. Actually, let me just undo all of this, because I think I did this all wrong. Um, I need to use the magnet tool and use the, uh, train tracks, and hopefully, this might make the valley a little bit more... Well, more I I well interesting is the word I was looking for, but um, this might lag the game a little bit. But this 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 will make it a lot more cooler because um, God, this is actually quite a high valley. Um, kind of almost makes it look a bit like France, doesn't it? Uh, no, but we, we we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sort this track out because like you know it, it is a complete mess. And we we I have made a lot of mistakes in the uh, in the last video, so um, we're just gonna sort this all out. Um, it, it does lag the game more once I've sorted this out, but once it's solved, uh, I think I think it'll look fine. Um, but there are there are a lot of lots of trees in the way, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna like move them out of the way. Uh, but for this section, it is a little bit complicated, so we need to uh, we need to just get rid of this whole section here. <laughs> now we've got flying track. I, I will have to build a bridge here eventually, but I'm not gonna do that today because because yeah, we just we just want to get racing. Um, we've got a flying tree here. We've got some floating trees there. But there you go. We've got like a valley now, which I think looks a bit, a bit more cooler. Um, it's a little bit of a, uh, a, a, a wiggly valley, but you know, a valley's a valley. But there we go. Uh, let me just switch to uh, the programming quickly because you know, I just want to make sure that all the programming is 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 done properly. Just have a quick look. Uh, yep, everything looks fine. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, it was all good. All programming is good. Uh, right, uh, take two. Uh, so let's click save. Um, I'm going to start racing now. I hope so. And away we go. So, so far, uh, both, uh, well, all three diesels have got a great start. Uh, the American diesel, uh, that's what I'm going to call it. I can't actually remember its name. Uh, it's got a great lead so far. But the, uh, but the S1 obviously is a very slow starter, as we all know. But it might do extremely well uh, near towards the end. I'm not sure. But uh, let's have a look. So it's a quite, it, it is a close tie so far between the British diesel and the German diesel. Those two are going out at some tremendous speed, but it would it be enough to catch up to the American diesel? I'm not sure. Uh, but the German steam train is doing quite well. It's doing better than the other one so far. But Blue Peter is, uh, is, is uh, second to last, and in last place is the S1. But the, again, this thing is a very slow starter, but when this thing gets up to speed, it will go. Um, because we've got a lot, um, we've got a much more longer racetrack now, so hopefully it might do well. We don't know! So there is Blue Peter. Uh, I need to start catching up. The German steam train, I think, what was it? Um, a, uh, I think it was a, uh, a BR, uh, D, or a DB something, uh, 18, I think it was. I could be wrong. But the German steam train isn't doing too bad, but we need to catch up to the leaders. So let's have a quick look. Uh, so far, uh, oh no, oh dear, the, uh, <laughs> level crossing sounded a bit weird, but the, uh, the American Diesel, uh, has lost a bit of speed, uh, it was a very quick starter, but I think she has reached, uh, its top speed now of, um, just under 80 miles per hour, uh, oh, then again, these things aren't really designed for speed, they're designed for freight, I should have used a more faster diesel, um, should have used, to be honest, I should have used the, um, uh, the P42, that's a very fast diesel, I think I could use that for next time, but the German diesel is doing very well, uh, it's doing about nearly 100 miles per hour, but so far I can see the, uh, the class, uh, 37, uh, in, in, in the distance, like, you know, I, I do need to do some serious catching up, I mean, that, that is incredible how fast a, a, a class 37 really is. But remember, most diesels aren't really designed for, like, high speed and stuff, they're, they're more, no, no, more normally for doing, like, you know, like average passenger train services or, or, or big long heavy freight services like like because the american the american trains they they 
they're more they're more designed for like massively strength stuff, not 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 super speed stuff. Uh, but the class uh, 37 has entered the big loop, uh, going up the hill. Uh, so far, let's have a look at the German train. Uh, sorry, the German diesel uh, train, if I may say so. I forgot what it was called. I think it's a DBV 200. I think that's what it is. Um, oh wow, and Blue Peter. <laughs> where, where did Blue Peter come from? She's doing at tremendous speed as well. Um, what about the other um, trains? I mean, so far that the uh, the diesel, uh, sorry, the United States American diesel isn't doing isn't doing very well because it's about to be uh, beaten by a German steam train. But it's not over yet, my friends, because the S1 is doing at tremendous speed, overtaking the German uh, uh, steam train and the American uh, diesel. That thing has got some serious speed. That is that is incredible. But if we go to the very front, the class uh, 37 has got a fantastic lead. Uh, let's have a look uh, in the distance. Blue Peter has just overtaken the uh, German diesel. That's, that's a shocker. Blue Peter is actually doing well, even though she's got a coach behind her. I mean, she, she that sounded a bit weird. But no, but seriously, um, Blue Peter, for some reason, needed a coach to help because the programming, like, you know, didn't work properly. But it turns out that, 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 that Blue Peter's coach uh, isn't slowing her down at all. I have no idea how fast that thing is going, but it is catching up. And, it's, and I think it's about to beat Blue Peter. Would the Americans have a chance here? They might just do. So here's Blue Peter being overtaken by the S1. And the S1 is now in second place, but she's still not out of it just yet because she's actually catching up to the class 37. Will she have enough to actually come in first place and get the Americans those points that the Americans need? So let's just have a look in the distance. Uh, in first place is the class uh, 37, but in the distance I can see the, the, the S1 is catching up and catching up very quick. And uh, I think this new racetrack, uh, because it's, a lot, it's much more longer, I think it's a lot more fair now. But just after the S1 is Blue Peter, and then after Blue Peter, it's the German uh, diesel. And then after the uh, the German diesel, uh, I can't actually see, I think it's the German steam train. And in last place is the American uh, big freighter diesel. And here come the engines on the downward spiral. The class uh, 37 is in the lead, but the S1 is catching up and it's catching up very quickly. And here comes Blue Peter on the downward spiral. That coach is not slowing her down at all. Although that reminds me, I need to catch up because uh, we might have a new champion on our racetrack, the S1. And we've got a new champion. The S1 has overtaken the uh, class 37. And how fast is that thing doing? I'm going to try and link my speed because that thing has got some serious power and some serious speed. Uh, I am doing about 140 something miles per hour. I think that thing's doing about 150. So if we try and link speed, yep, I think that thing's just doing just under 150 miles per hour, but which is still pretty fast. I'll tell you what, my friends, I think that S1 will give uh, the Americans the points they might need. But the Class 37 has still got a strong second. Uh, if we look in the distance, Blue Peter is still in third. I can't see any of the... Uh, of the German trains there were just far, far behind. We're now deep in the valley, my friends. The S1 has still got some brilliant speed on her shoulders, or in her pistons, as I should say. That just sounds a bit weird, but like, you know, forget I just said that. But no, on a serious note, we are doing very, very well. The Americans for the uh, Pennsylvania, I can't even say the word properly, for Pennsylvania Railroad, uh, the S1 is doing extremely well. We have a quick look on the map. So where are we? We are here next to the S1. Second place looks like it's the uh, class 37. Uh, Blue Peter looks like he's in third. Uh, in fourth, which I believe might 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 be the uh, the German diesel. Uh, fifth place might be the uh, German steam engine. And in last place is the American diesel. That's not so good. But then never mind about that because the Americans are still in first with their steam train, which is good. I have to say, it does make a really weird noise, though, the uh, the, the S1. I uh, can't see any more of the trains. I mean, I see the 37 at a very far distance, but I cannot see any more of the uh, of the trains. I mean, once we get closer to the finish line, they all, they all should, should start coming together, right? I hope so. Oh, I just, I just hiccuped. I just hiccuped. I do have to be honest. It is quite empty at this section of the track. There's like, there's like nothing here except uh, except track. Maybe I should start adding some... Uh, because now I've got a much more longer racetrack, which I think is good. It's good that we've got a bigger racetrack. Um, it is quite dull. We do need to add like some trees and stuff here, which, which I think will be a very good idea. We might do that um, in the far future. We don't, I, don't, I don't know. 
but back to the racing. Uh, the S1's got a huge lead, but she is starting to slow down now. As I've, uh, her speed has become noticeably slower. Um, but I think it's because she is coming up to the end of the finish line. Um, which is good. Let's have a quick look on the map. Uh, so we're here. Uh, I just see all the, like, look at, look at all the trains. They're all just spread out across the map. This is actually the, this is actually the most, uh, interesting racetrack I've ever made. Because, um, because there is a massive difference, uh, when you're on a much bigger track. When, when, when you're on a, on a smaller track, they're all bunched up close together and it's, it's not that exciting. But, like, w w when you actually see how, how much difference there is, it's actually quite interesting. Oh, and here we are. We are at the finish line. So I'm going to apply my brakes just a little bit. Uh, in fact, we'll just leave the uh, Superclass 47 there. I don't see any trains in the distance, so I think the Americans have won it this time. So I think the United States have uh, already uh, gained their first five points, uh, which is this uh, marvellous and incredible steam engine, uh, the S1. What a, what a marvellous thing. Uh, so yeah, just park it there, S1, very nice. And the Americans have gained five points! But whoa, we're celebrating way too early because, yes, the Americans may have uh, five points from their steam-powered steam engines, but for the diesel-powered uh, trains, it uh, belongs to Great Britain because the Class 37 is actually the first diesel to arrive. So that's five points uh, for uh, the uh, Americans and five points for Great Britain. Makes perfect sense to me. But we're going to do the scores in a second because we need to wait for the other trains to arrive because it's not actually finished yet. And I actually see a German train in the distance. Now, it may be the third train coming in, but it's actually the second diesel uh, to arrive. So that means, uh, if my maths are correct, because I can't, do, I can't actually do maths, it means the Germans get uh, three points. Uh, because it is the second uh, fastest diesel on the track. So five points, five points, uh, three points. Uh, I need to wait. Who, who's going to be the, uh, the the next steam engine, though? That is the question. I'm actually looking in the distance, and um, it's actually not that uh, far off, because I'm looking at Blue Peter, and Blue Peter, uh, maybe the next one to come in, but we're not so sure, because she has slowed down quite a bit, but I'm looking at the German steam train, and she is catching up at, uh, well, she's doing at uh, incredible speed. I think the German steam train might have a good chance here, because I'm looking at Blue Peter. Blue Peter is not going that fast at all. I actually can't believe what I'm witnessing here. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. The German steam train is actually going to beat Blue Peter. No way! So after all that time of Blue Peter actually being, uh... Quite far in the lead, she's actually slowed down quite a lot. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing, ladies and gentlemen. The German steam train is gonna beat Blue Peter. So here comes the German train, which is the uh, it was the uh, the oh what was it called? I think it was called the DBBR18. I think that's what it is. I'm not a massive like you know expert on German trains, but here she comes in a very beautiful uh, what was it? I think it's fourth place. But it's not over yet, my friends. Blue Peter's coming in at a very slow pace. But it's going to be beaten by the American uh, freight diesel. I forgot what it's, what it's called, but it's it's that. So in second to last place is the American freight diesel in the BNSF uh, livery. But there we go. And I think um, I think that was the, the third uh, fastest diesel we've had. Um, so it's first place and last place for, the, uh, uh, for, you know, for, for Team America. I think that's why I don't normally do races with the Blue Peter. It's 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 not a good race. I mean, that is that is pulling in very very slow. That's that is not good. There we go, Blue Peter. Oh, are you are you parked? Are you parked now? There you go. That is the slowest stopping I've ever seen. About if if I ever did do do see one. All right. So now that we have all the engines here, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add up the scores and uh, see where each train stands and see uh, which country is doing the best so far. So let's uh, add up the scores. So there is where the score stands. Uh, again, it's a bit complicated, but like, you know, first place for the fastest diesel and first place, you know, for the, uh, for the fastest steam engine. But it's not over yet, my friends, because in the final round, we're going to be doing diesel versus electric, which should get things a little bit more interesting. But good luck to the trains in the final round. Don't miss it, my friends, because it's the final part. Which country is going to win? We don't know. But until then, see you soon.
uh, these things. <laughs> oh my god, it's got a window wiper! Sort of. 